You're in a car and suddenly hear the siren of an emergency vehicle approaching. As the law requires, your car pulls over to the side of the road and stops. What do you hear as the emergency vehicle passes? You hear the pitch of the siren change the instant the vehicle passes. Which way does the pitch change and why does it change? That's the subject of this video. I invite you now to explore the Doppler effect with me, Michael DeRobertis, Professor of Physics and Astronomy at York University. The Doppler effect is named after a 19th century mathematician and physicist named Christian Doppler, who first correctly described this phenomenon quantitatively in 1842. The Doppler effect can be applied to any wave phenomenon, including sound and light. Recall that the speed of any wave, for example a sound wave, depends on the product of its wavelength and the frequency or pitch of the sound, that is the number of vibrations per second. Now let's see how the Doppler effect works in practice. To demonstrate the Doppler effect, we're here at York Lions Stadium, the track and field venue for the 2015 Pan Am and Para Pan Am Games. The apparatus we have here is a Doppler ball. It consists of a sound generator inside a clear plastic sphere. The sound generator produces a very high frequency, high pitch sound, about 10 times that of middle C, and it's very annoying, as you'll now see. Now, the first thing we're going to test is whether relocating changes the pitch from your perspective, from the audience's perspective. So I'm going to move around to a couple of different spots, and I'd like you to listen to see whether the pitch changes. You likely didn't notice any pitch changes when I changed locations slowly. I'd like you to determine from my perspective whether you hear any pitch that is frequency changes from the rest frequency as I swing this ball about my head. Notice any pitch changes? I can tell you I didn't notice any from my perspective. Now how about from your perspective, from the audience's perspective? Now listen very carefully. I'm going to swing the Doppler ball around my head so that it changes its speed and position with respect to you. Listen very carefully and see when you can tell whether the pitch changes higher, lower, or stays the same as this rest pitch you first heard. Did you detect a pitch change, a frequency change? Now, hold that hypothesis. I'm now going to swing the ball in the opposite direction. See if your hypothesis holds. Did you detect clear differences? From my perspective, I could not hear any frequency differences, but I think you did. And I think you'll agree that when the ball is approaching you, the audience, you hear the highest pitch, highest frequency, and when it's receding, you hear the lowest pitch, lowest frequency. And when it's perpendicular to our line of sight, you don't hear any change, you just simply hear the rest pitch. Now, the final experiment is I'm going to increase the speed of motion around my head and see whether you can hear even more extreme pitch or frequency changes. That is the Doppler effect. From our experiment, we conclude that the pitch of a source depends on the relative speed of the source towards or away from the observer, called the radial speed of the source. The faster the speed, the greater the change in pitch. If the source is moving away from the observer, the pitch decreases, while if the source is moving towards the observer, the pitch increases. 
The Doppler effect can be described quantitatively in the following way using sound as an example. Recall the relation between the speed of sound, its wavelength, and frequency is. The Doppler equation relates the proportional change in wavelength or frequency or pitch of sound to the radial speed of the source relative to the observer compared with the speed of sound. By measuring the change in pitch or wavelength in one cycle and knowing the rest pitch or wavelength of the sound, it's then possible to determine the relative speed of the source. That's the beauty of the Doppler equation. The Doppler effect applies to electromagnetic radiation, or light, as well. Astronomers use this effect all the time to measure things like the properties of binary stars in their orbit about their common center of mass, or the mass of a cluster of galaxies through the measurement of their individual radial speeds. But perhaps the most famous of all, the Doppler effect was used by Edwin Hubble to discover the expansion of the universe. The Doppler effect is also used in medicine. The Doppler ultrasound is used to study the flow of blood in arteries and veins. So the Doppler effect is very important in a wide variety of tools for physical and life scientists. Oh, one last remark. Ever gotten a speeding ticket? Chances are your line of sight speed was measured by police using the Doppler effect. Thanks a lot, Christian Doppler. <laughs>